So uh, my name is Thomas Arguello, I'm the Director of Football Equipment Operations and I've been here for a year and a half. So to be honest, planning started way before I got here. I think this was more of a Chip and a Martin idea. Um, and then when I got here, I kind of got into more of the phases of the ordering process. So the design of the uniform and everything was pretty much already built and set. Uh, so pretty much got into the you know, 24, 48 months out. We're usually building and ordering uniforms. So that's kind of when the process started for me with the uniform. So the uniform is based on the 1954 uh, national championship team. Um, it is the only national championship that the UCLA has ever had. So that's the kind of paying homage to that team and what they've done. So, What's up guys? It's Thursday, October 19th. And today we're getting our first look at the throwback uniforms that we're gonna wear for the homecoming game. Today we're gonna do a photo shoot recreating famous shots of former UCLA Bruins. And we've got two football players, Alex Johnson and Colson Yankoff, who are going to be wearing the jersey and helping us recreate these iconic looks. Hey, man. Baby blue. We're back. I like the far. I like it. It's tough. Super tough. Dude, I love these. Wow. So clean. Just wow. <laughs> What's your favorite part? I like the black with, with the juxtaposition of the, the rest of the colors. I think it's sweet. Me? Definitely the baby blue with the baby blue accessories. Can't beat it. Und undefeated. Yes. <laughs> all right. So all, all you're doing is you can start low. And you're, you're facing him, obviously. Yeah. So you're starting low, and then you're coming up. Oh, yeah, that is a classic. But you're flexing. <laughs> no, it sounds weird, yeah. The linebacker pose. Dude, these are so clean. I'm so excited to wear them. They're so clean. She was phenomenal. I feel old school. Might be the cleanest jerseys out. I don't know. You tell me, but that's what I think. It's awesome. I think for me, it was hard to visualize and conceptualize everything because it's just been on a mannequin for six months. So actually seeing, you know, Colson and AJ in the shots, it just kind of put everything together, just how cool and awesome it is. And then just cool to see that we're paying homage to the team that, you know, done such a great job and won a national championship. I think that's just paying tribute to those guys was awesome. So. Yeah, I think the one small touch that I did, which probably no one would probably notice, but every helmet has to have a warning label. We obviously stripped down the helmet back like they did back in the day. So I created the warning label in the shape of the national championship trophy just to kind of honor those guys and pay homage to it. So that's a cool little touch that I did on the uniform. So. So I kind of made these really cool boxes um, just with kind of all the different kind of pictures and things from the 1954 team just so these guys can understand the history on why we're doing this game. Um, and then with that, we'll give them all a new travel suit. So travel top, travel bottom, uh, fresh pair of Jordans, um, t-shirt, hat. Um, so all those guys will wear that on the bus as they're going into the stadium. So this is going to be the, the gear box that we're going to give all the guys uh, in front of their locker. So kind of put a cool couple pictures on there just to kind of honor the 1954 team, kind of picture of their roster, um, different pictures of players, and then the, the team picture here. Um, so everybody will have this in front of their lockers on Friday while we're out at Fast Friday. And then in the box for pregame, we're gonna do a short sleeve t-shirt for the guys to go out. Uh, we thought it was kind of important to make sure that we paid homage to everybody that was on the 1954 team. So we put everybody's name inside the numbers, so everybody's gonna have that uh, for pregame. We also got them a new pair of shorts, kind of matches that with the throwback helmet logo there. And then we did the pregame pullover top. 
So the number in there still kept with the Clarion font just to kind of keep all the details kind of the same with the uniform and the pregame stuff. Actually in the box that's going to be in the box for the guys is going to be their travel hat, short sleeve t-shirt, travel jacket for the guys, and then travel sweatpants, and then the Jordan 2 Lowe's and the Valor Blue 2. Yeah, so logo is kind of more like the old school logo. Uh, so we just did the helmet with the block Bruins. Uh, that's kind of what they did back in the day was with a lot of the helmet logos on there. And then we just added the, the Bruins at the bottom and did it in the block font with the Valor Blue um, colorway. Jordan has always got to be the shoes. So shoes are really nice, came out of the year. So um, shout out to Jordan for always taking care of us and taking care of our players, coaches, and staff. They do a phenomenal job and happy to be partnered with them. Our colors are distinct, our uniforms are distinct for a reason. But there's a reason we decided to do this, to honor all those guys, the Deshaun's, the Coach Norton's, the Jerry's, the Frank's, Kevin Jordan, all the guys that came before us in the past. It's our way of telling them that we think about them all the time. Hey, so when you guys go down to your lockers, everybody's gonna have a box, all right? We could have, hey, 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 relax, relax. Hey, we could have gave you guys a duffel bag, you know, did the normal thing, right? But we kind of took our time with it, right? We're paying homage to the 1954 team. So this is the roster on there. Some of those guys' pictures and then the team photo, right? Just as, uh, so you guys pay memory of those guys, all right? Now to the real stuff, right? It's gonna be the swag we got for this week, all right? Try it on, Nick! Try it on, Nick! Oh, so pre, so pre-game shirts, pre-game shirts, all right? So another detail, right? So everybody that played on the 1954 team is gonna be inside of your number when you go out on pre-game, right? So we're honoring all those guys, all right? And then, Then hey, so for travel, for travel this week, we're gonna have a whole new travel fit. Our sister travel hat. Okay. Right. Hey, talk to me, talk to me. Travel shirt. Yeah. Right. Travel hoodie. Yeah. Right. Talk to me. Travel sweat. Yeah. Alright. In the J. That's it, man. Appreciate you guys. You guys enjoy. Have a great game, man. Yeah. Hey, this is tough right here. This is different. I ain't never seen this, man. Never seen this. Great defense. They got us right, man. They got us right. Who's in Los Angeles? There you go, baby. 10%. We'll be back in the day. See what those little balls These are clean. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Thank you. Oh, get that cowboy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, come on now, come on now. Come see it. On, Legacy game. Legacy oh, game. See it, man. See it. See it. See it. See it. See it. See it. Okay. So pretty much our jersey color is Valor Blue, um, which is what the 1954 team wore. Uh, we'll also be featuring the new Vapor Fuse uniform uh, that Jumpman just came out with this past year. Um, so it's just a little bit more structured around the collar. Uh, it's got thermal regulation in it, so it helps kind of hold sweat a little bit better. And so those guys can perform better even when went through sweat. Um, and then we also got the pants uh, and the pads. So that way it's the pants are integrated in the pads. So you pretty much just slide those things on and they're ready to go. So we're kind of featuring that part of it. Um, and then also kind of featuring the debut of the new Vapor Fuse uniform that we're gonna bring out too. So yeah, helmet is completely stripped down. Uh, gray face mask, white chin strap. So completely old school. They didn't wear any decals back in 1954. So we try to be as detailed as we could and making sure that, you know, the exact look was exactly what it needed to be replicated so that we make sure we pay homage to those guys. Shoes, we did black Jordan 1s with white laces. So they wore black cleats back in the day. So we put a little flare on it and did the Jordan 1s, which everybody was fired up about. But black cleats, white laces is what they wore back in the day. So we tried to keep it there. And we've got a ton of outpouring of just how um, excited everybody was to see us wearing it. 
think the kids are fired up too. We haven't done a new uniform in a long time. Um, so I think just something different and just something to spice it up. Uh, I think the guys are fired up about it. The cool thing is I think moving forward, you know, we'll always kind of integrate uh, the throwback uniform into our rotation. Uh, but I think the cool thing about us, I think everybody does a lot of different things and it's no knock on anybody else. But I think us just in our traditional look is such a good look. I don't think we need to change anything. So.